Hey everybody, uh, my name's Barry. I am the product manager here at FarmRace. Uh, today I'm gonna give you a tour of FarmRace Tracks. Uh, Tracks is our all-in-one solution for managing your farm's finances efficiently. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the key features that make FarmRace Tracks the perfect tool for busy farmers everywhere. Uh, everything from managing transactions and your receipts to tracking your mileage, handling your inventory, uh, even easily creating invoices for your customers. Uh, we've got you covered. So go ahead, grab a cup of coffee, sit back. Let's talk through how farm raise tracks can help you master your farm's finances. Now, I'm going to be taking you through the desktop version of our app today, but everything that you see here is also available on the farm raise tracks mobile app, which is available in both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. All right, let's get started. Uh, so first, we're going to start with the basics, which is just entering a transaction. Uh, we make that as easy as possible with just a few clicks. Um, so we're going to start up here with our quick add button. We're going to choose whether or not we want a revenue or an expense. Uh, and then we're going to fill in the details. Um, so for instance, let's say I went to Tractor Supply today and I spent $83 on feed. Um, now we do uh, map all of our categories and tie those directly to the IRS Schedule F categories. Uh, that'll make your life a lot easier come tax time. Every transaction that you have will be mapped up to Schedule F, uh, make it super easy to, to finish that and create that. Um, now my feed was for my chickens, uh, so I'm gonna say that here. Um, and I do like to tie my transactions to my different farm products so that I can easily track uh, my profits and losses per product if I want later on. Um, once I add those details, um, I can also upload a receipt for safekeeping. Um, so I can either upload a file or an image from my computer, or if I'm on the mobile app, um, I can actually take a picture uh, with my uh, phone's camera as well. So I'm going to add that. Uh, and you see I've got my uh, tractor supply feed for chickens, uh, $83 right here. Um, now let's talk a little bit more about categories. Um, so like I said, we do tie all of our categories to Schedule F, um, but we do understand every operation is different. Um, farming expenses are very diverse, um, so we do offer customizable categories as well. Um, so we want to make sure that you can tailor your categories to whatever unique needs your farm has um, because we want to make sure that it's uh, working the way that you want for your farm. Um, so let's add another expense. Let's say that I actually want to track all of my um, uh, expenses for my different farm vehicles separately. Um, but I still want to have them at the end of the day grouped into the vehicle uh, category for Schedule F. Um, so in this case, I've got a bill from my local shop um, and that was for $650.23. Um, but um, rather than just say that I want to add this into the vehicle expense, I actually want to uh, be more specific than that. And I want to say that this is specifically for my uh, farm truck. Um, so I'll add that here. And then I have the choice of whether or not I want to include it as a Schedule F or not. So if, um, you know, maybe it doesn't fall under uh, a Schedule F category, I can leave it like this and um, it'll just be tagged as a personal expense. Um, but if I want to make sure that this expense gets calculated into my Schedule F uh, at the end of the year, um, I'll go here and I'll pick the category that I want to have it included under. Um, so in this case, it's the, the farm truck expenses. Um, so I'll add that. Um, and then again, I can add a receipt. If I have a receipt, um, upload that, um, but I'll add my transaction. And you can see that that's been listed here. Um, now, a couple other things that I want to mention about transactions. Um, if you need to take a look at your past transactions, we do keep a comprehensive history of that so you can track all of your spending habits, make informed decisions about your farm uh, in the future. Um, so you can do that by choosing date ranges, choosing whether or not you want to look at expenses or revenues, um, things like that. Um, we do also let you securely link your bank account or your farm credit card to automatically pull in transactions. So you saw me enter manual transactions, um, but if you want to, uh, you can link up your bank account and we'll pull those in automatically using a secure connection uh, with your financial institution. Um, that's really nice. It's kind of like having an assistant um, because that will kind of take care of the initial entry for you. And all you have to do later on is go in and categorize them. Um, it also makes sure that you never forget to enter one if you, you know, misplace a receipt or, or you know, just forget to do it that day. Um, that's really nice. Um, it's totally optional, though. If you prefer to enter things manually, that's totally okay. You can do that as well. 
Um, the last thing I'll say about transactions before we move on is uh, when you first sign up uh, for Farmer's Tracks, uh, we do offer a bulk import service. Um, so if you've got transactions from either, you know, just from your bank or you keep your own spreadsheets or you're using other accounting software today, um, you can send those transactions to us. We have a really easy way to do that. Um, and we'll get those imported into your account um, so that you can kind of start and, and already be caught up. Um, you don't have to wait until, uh, you know, a certain time of the year or anything like that. Um, so let's talk about mileage. Um, so uh, you may have seen when I clicked this earlier, there's a mileage option. So we want to make sure that you're getting the best um, tax deduction um, for, your, for your vehicles and your mileage at the end of the year. Um, so we make that really easy. Um, all we do is uh, pick our vehicle, um, pick the, um, the number of miles that I drove today. Um, I can specify where I started and where I ended if I want to, um, but that's really it. So I, I save on that. And then I've got a running history um, here at the bottom um, that shows which vehicle I took, what the day was, and then um, how many miles I have. Um, and then you can uh, get all those at the end of the year um, through a report um, so that you can file your taxes and have an accurate mileage count if you want. Um, I'm going to talk about inventory next. Um, so within the inventory, um, we do help you keep track of your, your livestock, your crops, your farm products, um, everything that you have on your farm. Um, so that could be, you know, whether you're managing the Angus beef cattle, like you see here, if you have, uh, you want to keep track of a bunch of different crops across numerous fields, uh, you can do that as well. Our inventory tool will let you do that. Um, so you can enter quantities, locations, even health records for your livestock as well. Um, so let's go into my beef cattle and let's say I actually, so you see here, I've already got 10 on field one and 17 on field two, uh, but maybe I got two new ones um, today. So I'm going to add two more to my field one. Uh, I'm going to call that a new purchase. And you see now I've got 12 and 17. Um, I can also move my livestock from field to field. Um, let's say I'm, I'm grazing them. Um, so let's say I'm going to move um, five of my, uh, five of my cattle from field two over to field one and join the other herd there. So I could do that. Um, and then I'll see a history at the bottom of everything that I, uh, the, everything that I've done with that particular inventory item. And again, you can do that for livestock. You can keep track of your crops. Uh, if you have other products, um, you, you can keep track of all those here within the inventory feature. Um, last but not least, uh, let's talk about invoicing. Um, so regardless of what you're selling, whether it's, uh, it's crops, livestock, ag products, even your time, uh, if you're doing, uh, you know, work on the side for somebody, uh, we make it really easy to create professional invoices. Um, so I just need to come over to the invoices menu option. Um, and then with a couple of clicks, um, I can, um, enter my customer's information. Um, in this case, um, this is a customer that I've already sold to in the past. So it's pre-filled for me. Um, so I can uh, pick his information um, and then um, let's say I sold, um, let's say I sold uh, 20 bales of hay. Um, so I'll say for um, $47 each. Um, I sold 20 of those um, and those are bales. I can choose whether or not I want to include sales tax on any particular item. Uh, in this case, I'm going to. Um, I save that. Um, once I do that, um, I get a summary of my invoice. And in just a second, um, I will get a nice preview of a professional invoice um, that will have uh, my information as well as my customer's information. And then from there, I can either uh, send it over email, um, I can download it, I can print it. Um, or if I'm on the mobile app, I can actually send it out by text message as well. Um, so here uh, you see the invoice that I created um, for my 20 bales of hay. Um, I can also mark my invoices as paid um, so that I can make sure that I know exactly which invoices are outstanding, who I need to follow up with. Um, so I, I can uh, do that as well. Uh, so that's it. Um, uh, that's a, just a real quick overview of Farmer's Tracks. Um, as I mentioned, um, it is available uh, both on desktop as well as the mobile device. Uh, you can access your account from anywhere. Uh, your data will automatically sync across all of your devices. Um, and uh, it also, the mobile app also works offline as well. So if you're out in the field and you want to, um, you know, jot down some notes, you want to uh, make some inventory changes, 
um, things like that, you don't have a good connection at the moment, uh, just go ahead and you can still put it in the app. And then the next time you're on a strong connection, it'll automatically update that data and, and again, sync it across all of your different devices. Um, so everything from you know managing your transactions, your mileage, your inventory, uh, we've got everything you need to keep your operation running smoothly. Uh, really appreciate you joining me uh, on the tour today. Um, if you ever need help, uh, just click this green bubble down in the in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Um, that'll uh, help you chat with our team. Um, they're super helpful. Uh, really happy to ever uh, answer any questions that you might have. Uh, hope you have a great day uh, and see you soon.